Today we're presenting how to personalize the customer experience using Microsoft's new interactive voice response. We are here today with Jonathan, our Global Director, CECRM Sales, and Kevin, our Customer Engagement Solution Architect. So without further ado, let's get started. Jonathan, you have the floor. All right, thank you, Sam. Uh, so good, uh, good morning and good afternoon, depending where you are. Um, so today we're gonna be um, very light on PowerPoint and we're gonna jump right into the product itself. Um, what we're gonna do is very quickly for those who are not familiar with Argonaut Arbella, just a quick overview of our organization and um, why Microsoft actually came to us um, to help launch this product. Uh, then we're gonna jump into a quick high-level overview of omnichannel uh, voice, that Microsoft's new IVR, and then right into the actual product demonstration. So Arbella is an inner circle uh, business applications partner. Uh, in the world, there are only 26 inner circle members, and Arbella is very proud to be a part of this um, for many, many years now. Uh, we have about 1,200 resources located across the globe. Arbella has a very um, defined focus. We don't do everything. Uh, and we focus around uh, industry, and that's around financial services, manufacturing, retail, healthcare, and life sciences. Uh, entertainment and sports is actually something that's new that we've uh, also just recently started. Unlike other partners, the only thing we do is the Microsoft Business Application Stack. That's the CRM, that's the ERP, the Power Platform, Data and Analytics. Um, Today, we're gonna to have two presenters. They're gonna be myself and I'll be fielding questions. So during the webinar, if you have any questions, go ahead and just type into the chat. We'll try to respond in, um, in real time. Uh, if not, we're gonna have some time at the end of the webinar. If it's something we need to follow back on, we'll absolutely send you an email. And then um, our uh, uh, senior leader, Kevin DeCoster, uh, who is the head of our uh, dynamic CR and pre-sales team. He'll actually be walking us through the webinar. So let's talk a little bit about the new omnichannel voice. And uh, the reason we're here today and the reason that Microsoft asked us to do this um, presentation, we actually help build this solution. So since its inception, we were part of that R&D team. So building this thing side by side with Microsoft, um, we were part of the R&D, being able to test it and then bring it to market with them. Um, if you haven't worked with Arbella before, the name should sound familiar if you watched uh, Microsoft Ignite. Uh, in November. We actually co-launched this, so a lot of the demos and presentations you saw were actually performed by Arbella. Um, and I call it, you know, and we all call it this new, new IVR. The underlying technology has always been there. It's not new. It's the most pro proven solution, in my opinion, in the world. Uh, the underlying technology is the same underlying technology that Microsoft Teams uses. That underlying technology is something known as Azure Communication Services. So when all these large Goliath systems went down, the Genesis of the world, the Nices of the world, the um, Five Nines of the world, during the pandemic, Microsoft Teams scaled. Overnight, we went from working uh, in our office to working from home, from learning in school to learning at home. And this was a global rollout overnight. You've all experienced that you call those different uh, customer service agencies, couldn't get to someone uh, for hours or just the system did not work. It was just being overloaded. Where Teams is that proven battle-tested solution. At the same time, it's also a fraction of the cost of these other applications that are out there. And it's actually scalable. It's been proven in market. Um, and what we're gonna be looking at today is the uh, voice channel. So when a phone call comes in, we have the ability to apply self-service capabilities. And if anyone's using uh, the Microsoft Power, Power Virtual Agent solution today, that's what it is. So if you know how to use PVA, you actually know how to use this chatbot, the uh, voice bot. So it's leveraging that same technology, that same proven technology. So we have the ability to do um, uh, real-time transcriptions, speech to text. We even have the ability of now routing, just like we would route a chat, we would route the voice call. So based on the sentiment, based on um, the agent skill set, location, and availability, we would route it to the right agent. Or we hit the common data service, which is now known as the dataverse, and we do self-service. So just like I was going to engage with a chatbot and say, hey, what's the status of my order? Um, I want to make a payment. We can do it with a voice. We can actually dive right into that solution and self-serve using the voice channel. 
So now we don't need an agent to speak to anyone anymore. It's all being done. And it's only possible because Microsoft is the only solution in the world where the IVR is the exact same as the CRM. There is no difference, it's the same solution. And that's why we have these type of self-service capabilities. And what are those capabilities? Well, Microsoft is a full telco. So you have the ability of provisioning uh, numbers directly from Microsoft. Um, if you have your own uh, telephony carrier, no problem, uh, we can actually integrate with that. We have the ability to handle uh, and distribute incoming phone calls, as I mentioned before. We even have the ability of doing outbound dialing. So if you do use dynamic CRM today, you click on that phone call and it leverages this technology, uh, that phone, uh, phone call field. Uh, we have the ability of having it uh, deeply integrated, as I mentioned before. It's a part of the omni-channel engagement hub. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a core feature of D365 customer service. And this allows us to do real-time sentiment analysis, uh, real-time transcriptions, and then using the smart assistant for next best offers. So you can actually use the IVR to sell for you. Uh, managers have the ability of having real-time analytics on what's going on through the IVR and with the agents. And then of course, for quality control, we have the ability of recording, um, listening, whisper, and barging in. In terms of licenses, it's pretty simple. Uh, you need to have the D65 customer service enterprise license, and then there is a add-on for the voice. Uh, pretty simple. Um, based on your um, the amount of minutes you need, you, you do have the option of um, getting additional minutes for this. If you have the customer service license already, well, it's just simply the voice app. So pretty simple licensing, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So what we want to do now is we actually want to see the product. So I'm going to pass it off to Kevin DeCoster. That's going to walk through a few scenarios for us. Uh, Kevin? Fabulous. Thank you, Jonathan. Hey, I'm going to change uh, over to my screen here and we'll start uh, start the demo. So uh, you guys can see my screen okay? We can see it. Perfect. All right. So hey, I want you to meet Sarah. Uh, Sarah is facing this uh, challenge today. She wants to know whether it's safe for her to remove her mask in certain, uh, certain situations. So she has subscribed uh, to the Novid at-home test service. Uh, this test service will look at like her psychological profile or health profile, all these factors, and will give her great insights about, you know, around mask mask wearing. So the three demo scenarios we're going to do through the IVR are, you know, calling to get the status of her Novid order, uh, requesting expedited shipping, uh, and when we do these two demos, I'm going to run them kind of in a in a sequence. She's going to kind of handle that all in one call, so one call resolution. Uh, and then a little bit later on, uh, you know, she's going to call back to gain insights into her test results. Um, so that's uh, th those are the demo scenarios. Now, I also want you to meet another Sarah here. This is uh, Sarah, Sarah, our voice actor. You can see we have, you know, over 20 different voice actors we can use in the IVR. Today, she's cheerful. If she's working for certain government agencies, she might be angry. Uh, you know, we can, uh, you know, throw her all the way up to chipmunk mode and all the way down to, uh, you know, maybe a few too many glasses of wine mode with her speed and pitch. So, um, yeah, so definitely meet Sarah here. So. Hi, I'm Sarah, the virtual agent who is helping out on today's demonstration. Thank you for joining. Yep, so that's Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah, the virtual agent. Very simple. All right, so let's get into the scenarios. I'm going to make the phone call here and we're going to run the first demo scenario so in this scenario um you know sarah's going to call to, to get the status of her novid order we're going to start uh, with the ivr greeting right that's a one-time greeting for each phone call uh we're then going to uh link into the main menu which which are kind of those three main options that she can choose from uh, from there we're going to go into identification and verification we're going to request a little bit of secondary authentication using the last four of her social security number. Uh, the bot's going to take over a little bit more than and, and go back to dynamics. And in dynamics, we're going to kind of look up her order status, uh, you know, identify that ship date of, you know, February 18th, uh, just in a few days here, and then, you know, work on some wrap up, either give her the option to go back to the main menu over here um, or to, you know, press uh, to complete the call, you know, take a quick survey, survey, or even, you know, escalate to that agent. So let's go ahead and place the call and uh, we'll, we'll get these people connected. Thank you for calling the No VID Test Center. 
If you need help at any time, just say agent and we'll find someone to assist you. Press or say one to order a new at home test kit. Press or say two to verify the status of your order. Press or say three to gain insights into your results. Two. Okay. We see you are calling from a phone number in our system. For further verification, please provide the last four of your social security number. 5516. Great. Your order will ship on February 18, 2022. Press or say one to return to the main menu. Or press or say two to complete this call and take a quick survey. Or say agent to speak with someone to further assist you. Agent. Let's get you in touch with someone to assist you. Can you briefly share the reason for your call? You can say things like, change ship date, or request replacement test. Change ship date. We're now into a conversation, right? Sarah has, has gone through the step of, you know, automated self-service, identifying when her, uh, when her order will ship. Uh, she didn't hear in the, in the menu options there that, uh, uh, you know, that option for changing ship date, uh, you know, Novid just had not implemented that yet. Um, so she really wanted to talk to somebody about, you know, trying to get this test kit faster. She wants to get that mask off as soon as possible. Um, so, so what we observed was, you know, the call came in in the omni-channel um, um, session here, and Greg, our agent, um, accepted that call, right? He hit accept, and then put Sarah into session, and we see she's live in a session right here in a voice call. Uh, we are recording the call. Uh, the call's been going on for one minute. The sentiment right now is neutral. Uh, what's interesting about this is that you know, if the sentiment starts to go negative or positive, a supervisor could monitor, you know, all calls going on at this time. Uh, and they can even barge in to, you know, to listen or, or even barge in if needed, you know, if sentiment goes, you know, very negative on a call. So um, we also use this sentiment to kind of understand our performance. You know, how are we performing? Um, on certain topics, you know, are customers, you know, gen, are they are they voicing satisfaction or or not? So that's that's great to know. Uh, we have the full transcript of everything that's being said. Um, if I were speaking, uh, you know, through the phone, I'm on mute right now, but we would see, uh, and you see my my spoken words here. One second, guys, as we started to kind of get that feedback, we see that whole history of the transcript from the beginning the call started. Uh, of everything that uh, that Sarah's gone through um, to get to this point. Um, so that's great context to help us best serve this customer. Um, her record has auto auto um, you know auto resolved here just based on her phone number. Um, uh, we start to you know better understand her profile. Uh, these screens are just dynamic screens, of course. They're you know 100% tailorable to your need. Uh, but we see, you know, a, a snapshot of open issues. Uh, we see the conversation summary of this call. Um, there may have been some skills matching. So you saw in that um, automated call distribution how we identified Greg as the person uh, to serve Sarah on this call. You know, he's just very skilled in the area of, you know, managing ship dates. So we can get to that screen very quickly. Um, you know, keep keep the conversation going, uh, minimize his average handling time. And then we see, you know, a, a conversation history, all those threads of, you know, where Sarah's engaged with a virtual agent, where she's engaged with, you know, service staff, uh, sales staff, uh, cases, you know, that whole timeline of activities all show up in one nice view there in this panel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and link into Sarah, go a little bit deeper. Here we see her retail. This is a retail organization. Uh, so we see her retail 360, uh, right? We see her, you know, her high-level high contact information. We see things like her, you know, her loyalty status. Uh, you know, she's very loyal in terms of uh, Novid at-home uh, tests. 
uh, we see those you know, last purchase date, the you know, av uh, average lifetime value, these important details. We see all of our order history or case history, um, you know, ne neglected baskets from an e-commerce perspective. All of that case history is provided. Uh, we also get uh, smart assist knowledge. So uh, what's nice about this is we can take the context of our conversation, uh, the context of our profile, and start to target um, things like, uh, first of all, knowledge from the knowledge base that we see here, but even things like next best action uh, or next best conversation that, that would help to, you know, first of all, give her a better experience, less hold time, uh, better average handling time, um, things that things that are, are valuable to, you know, to all customers. So, yeah, this is the omni-channel transfer experience. Um, last point I'll make on this, um, and we'll talk about call center analytics a little bit later, uh, but I do want to make one last point on this. You know, I am active now. I'm, I'm a bit busy in the chat channel, right? I'm busy, um, and I can go, you know, I can go you know, do not disturb. I have lots of different statuses here, uh, each that dictate whether I can take on more work. Um, typically, in a voice interaction, we want to limit the number of sessions. Uh, one of your agents is supporting, uh, but we do have the we do have the option to mix other channels in here as well. So you know, beyond voice, we can do things like you know, uh, ch you know, agent chat transfer or SMS uh, based uh, interactions as well. So um, lots of capability in terms of the uh, the session management over here. Okay, um, so yeah, the 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 goal of this is really to to change Sarah's. Uh, Ship date, so I'm gonna go back to our summary here. Flag. Sorry, guys. Yeah, the whole point of this is to update our ship date and uh, it's right in there. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and end this call. Uh, you know, if, if there were an issue, I could, of course, through these call controls, you know, place her on hold, uh, you know, to do more research. We're all very familiar with that. Uh, we can do a consult. Uh, this will also put her on hold, but I can bring somebody else in uh, from within the internal organization to you know, consult on this matter. And I can directly transfer to other organization or other people within Novid, um, or even to other numbers that aren't even managed through the, um, through the Microsoft channel here. So I can uh, transfer externally. Uh, I'm, go I'm gonna go ahead and end the call. That puts me into a, a post wrap up mode here. You see the timer restarts. And now it's just timing the amount of time, the amount of time I need to take some final notes uh, and, uh, and close out the call. So this is final note taking uh, here and then just close out the call. That's my, you know, my recorded post wrap up time through Omnichannel. Okay, hey, we're going to now move uh, from this second scenario uh, with the agent transfer uh, to a third scenario. It's also a voice scenario. I'm gonna grab my phone. Uh, and this one is a, a little bit of a different flavor uh, from the first demo that we showed. Uh, in this demo, we're going to see things like knowledge base search, uh, and then you know, you know, pushing out interactions through email uh, as well. Thank you for calling the No VID Test Center. If you need help at any time, just say agent, and we'll find someone to assist you. Press or say one to order a new at-home test kit. Press or say two to verify the status of your order. Press or say three to gain insights into your results. Three. Okay. We see you are calling from a phone number in our system. For further verification, please provide the last four of your social security number. Five, five, one, six. Great. You have been verified. Let's continue. You can search thousands of topics related to your test, such as, give me my result, or can I play golf, sing in choir, or travel by plane? What is your topic of interest? Uh, can I play golf without a mask? We have some mixed results. It is now safe for you to remove your mask while outdoors and while driving, and you may play golf without a mask. Press one to have the support article sent to you by email. Or press or say two to continue. One.
Can you confirm your email address is sarah-365 at outlook.com? Yes. Great. We have sent an email to this address with additional information about your results. Press or say one to return to the main menu. Or press or say two to complete this call and take a quick survey. Two. Or say agent to speak with someone to further assist. Let's wrap up with a few quick questions. Was your question answered on this call? Yes. Sorry, I didn't get that. Did that answer your question? Yes. Great. Please rate your experience from one of worst to five best. Five. Thanks for chatting with me. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So those were the IVR demos. I just love the way she says goodbye. Um, you know, she is one of the nicest persons I've never met, um, but she just does not stop talking. All right, so hey, in this demo, uh, we showed a few things. We, you know, we use certain tools, right? Dynamics 365 Enterprise had that voice channel add-in um, that enabled, you know, the, the agent experience and, and voice communications through that channel. Uh, we use Power Virtual Agent uh, to do all of the voice prompts. Um, that's just a simple, uh, you know, flow, you know, set of flow steps to kind of navigate that tree or even branch out into, you know, spoken word type topics. Um, Power Automate sits right behind um, Power Virtual Agent and uh, it does a lot of that data access. So you're probably, you may, you may know that Power Automate supports like over 400 connectors to enterprise data. Uh, that means your IVR is, you know, fully able to connect uh, to data anywhere, virtually anywhere in your enterprise. Um, uh, yeah, and then in the last section here, the Power Platform Portal, that knowledge base article that we did send out over email, uh, did show up through the portal. Um, now, I'm not going to recommend that you you typically show, you know, uh, private health information uh, to your customers through through a knowledge base article. Uh, that's not best practice. Um, I just did it in this example, kind of for fun using uh, using uh, uh, Power Platform portals. Yeah, and all of these capabilities come into play. Um, of course, you know the voice communication, authentication, the transferred agent, uh, automatic call distribution. Just using all the data that we know about this customer, her her profile, her history, her recent conversations. I'm um, really to get her to the right agent, uh, and so that. Is, is nicely configurable within a platform. You know, we integrated to Dynamics data. We had all of these call capabilities. Uh, we did some natural la language understanding when we said things like play golf. And, uh, you know, that helped us to identify topics and, and from there kind of, you know, follow the right branch. And then we wrapped up everything with a, uh, with a post-call survey, uh, capturing all that data for analytics. Um, and it's a, it, it was a ton of fun. So, Hey, on the last point of analytics, right? We want to use this data um, um, to, you know, improve service. And uh, um, so we have some nice, uh, um, what we call CX Connect IP that sit on top of the voice channel conversations, uh, and they provide insights into things like, you know, case summaries. Uh, of course, it's always important to know from a from a service perspective that. Average handling time, 15 minutes. Want to work on that. Uh, how many calls exceeded five minutes of, of overall handling time? And how many calls exceeded five minutes of wrap-up time? You know, what's our average CSAT? So we can use those survey data that you heard just a moment ago to derive customer satisfaction. So how often are we, you know, you heard the yes, no in the survey. How often are we doing first call resolution? Uh, you know, what's the average cost per call? So, uh, you know, we take our agent rates and through a formula, um, you know, can derive all of these metrics. So um, that's really important. Uh, the, the other nice thing about these analytics is that we ship them as open source, meaning if you want to update your own calculations to, you know, to, to, to speak your language, tell your story, you have um, that full capability. Uh, I'm going to kind of jump down here to uh, AI guided insights. Uh, what's nice about this is we can, we can ask questions about our data in natural language. 
So we can say things like, you know, what are the top five uh, minutes uh, by total cases, right? And, and start to break those down. Um, uh, we can decompose, you know, who is uh, resolving our cases, uh, you know, for which products. And we can flip this story around by just you know, using these simple buttons here. And then we can understand, you know, how our performance impacts customer satisfaction. That's down here in the bottom right. Um, so through the data, we know that, you know, the more we're engaging, you know, when you have more activities through the, through the case resolution process, customer satisfaction will increase by a point. Um, and when we, when we do first call resolution, customer satisfaction will increase. Then we can look at which factors cause uh, cause CSAT to decrease, right? If we're de if we're speaking less, having less engagement, you know, customer satisfaction will correspondingly decrease. Okay, last thing I want to show are, are user adoption reports, right? So user adoption, whether it's in a service context that we just showed, or or even in sales, is important to know. Uh, obviously, as an agent, you know, they're going to be logged in. They're going to have you know um, time-based measurements. Um, but we want to see how active they are in the system, right? Are they are they working across, you know, the the, the different screens uh, at the right level by agent to properly serve as a customer? You know, maybe we have an agent who's ditching calls and they're never creating cases, right? So this uh, user adoption will help us understand which entities uh, agents are engaging in and then which activities specifically they're engaging in. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for the demo. Uh, thanks for uh, 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 taking the time to um, to learn about uh, the Novid uh, test product. And with that, I'm going to turn it uh, back over to back over to Jonathan. Thanks, Kevin. Um, so, team, we ran out of time. Um, uh, sorry, I, I do see some questions. We are going to respond back to each one of you. Um, I just want to point out one one thing. Everything you saw today in Microsoft Dynamics. That was out of the box. All those capabilities out of the box. It took Kevin only a few hours to configure this very in-depth demo with these scenarios. Um, so I hope that shows the value of an IVR solution that's out of the box with your CRM. Um, so Sam, I'll hand it over to you to uh, close this out. Thank you. Um, that's all that we have for today. So thank you, Jonathan and Kevin, for presenting and to everyone else for joining the presentation.